one of the most important house of a horoscope is the fifth house. It is one of the most important houses because of two reasons. First of all, because it indicates the middle ages of the person. Right from the time of marriage, or if one is not married, then from the age of 26 up to the age of 55, 60, these years are indicated by the fifth house. If fifth house is having a weak planet, then in these years, one may have to struggle a lot. One may have to do a lot of hard work and still the result that they get is not sufficient. On the other hand, if there are malefics in the fifth house, Saturn, Rahu, Sun, Mars, then in these years, one can suffer difficulties, one can suffer harassment, one can have ups and downs in these years. Irrespective of Dasha and Tradasha, this particular result that I told you with respect to weak planets and malefic planets with respect to the fifth house works and affect these areas of life. So it is better always to carefully analyze the fifth house to know what is happening in the young age of the native, specifically between the age of 28 up to the age of 55, 60. Another very important reason for the import for the importance of the fifth house is that it indicates many major things in the life of the native. Be it intelligence, be it education, be it the deity one should worship, be it the mantra one should chant, or childbirth. These are all ruled by the fifth house. These being the important areas indicated by the fifth house also makes the fifth house one of the, uh, you know, very important houses of the horoscope. The fifth lord, when powerful, it ensures that the native is intelligence. Intelligent means whatever it is not much related to the academic qualification, but the powerful fifth Lord will indicate that whatever plans the native will have regarding life, the life will work according to the plan. The vision of the native, the planning of the native is good, is accurate. And because of it, the native will be successful as well. Because fifth house indicates intelligence, the strength of the fifth lord ensures that the native is intelligent. In these cases, whatever investments one will make, they will be a good result, good return to the native. And his expectations will also be correct. And whatever the steps, whatever steps he takes for his improvement or improvement of his conditions will also work because his foresight will come to be true as the person wants it to be right. So this is very important because if the fifth Lord is not good in that particular scenario, what can happen that see if the condition is bad or if one is suffering, one will make plans to, you know, improve their condition. But if the fifth Lord is not powerful, you say fifth Lord is debilitated, afflicted by malefics is combust, goes into planetary war in that particular scenario, whatever the person thinks and whatever steps they take for their improvement may not work. In which case there will be elongated sufferings and things will be out of control of a native. It is necessary to have a very strong fifth lord, exalted mool, trikon, surashi, varguttam. If it is not, then in that particular scenario, one should do appropriate remedies. Otherwise, even the planning of the native or even the steps that one takes may not be very fruitful. Right. So if a bad result is there, you should do remedies. Right. Multiple remedies I have shared on my YouTube channel, both in English and in Hindi. In Hindi YouTube channel and in English YouTube channel, you should watch these videos and do an appropriate remedy, whatever seems suitable to you, whatever seems easy for you. Right. That is the first and the foremost thing. Going further, sometimes what happens that, you know, you see some people have bad intelligence. If malefic planets are influencing the fifth house, one will have bad intelligence. One will try to hurt others. One will be jealous. One will be revengeful. This thing is bad in two regards. First of all, when you will do such things, want to take revenge to people and all such things, you will be doing bad karmas. And as a result of bad karmas, bad will happen to you in future. Because of bad karmas, you know, there will be sufferings in life and sufferings will be very, uh, you know, sufferings will be very hard. Sufferings will be very grief. 
right? So if you are having this combination, you should avoid these negative traits, avoid the, you know, you should try to stop, control the development of these negative traits in your personality. And along with that, you should not do these things, these negative things that I have just told. Sorry. If the fifth house is influenced by beneficial planets, Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Moon, in that particular scenario, one have good intelligence, beneficial intelligence. One wants to do good for the world. One wants to do good for the society, good for the people. So these people can be very successful in NGO also in all such things where, uh, you know, like they will want to help the society and they will actually be successful into it, which will bring good name, fame and status to these people. That is the first thing. And secondarily, because of this good intelligence, they will do good karmas. And as a result of good karmas, enjoyment in their life will increase. Their life will be stable. Their life will be good. And along with that, because of having these good habits of helping people and all of these good thoughts, the person will also have inner satisfaction, contentment, and will get all the good results of following dharma, right? The dharma is doing good to others. So all the good results of dharma, that the dharma saves you, the dharma protects you, all of these things are present in the life of the native because of which the native will enjoy. Right? Because fifth house indicates intelligence and it indicates planning and it indicates the type of thinking. And this is what later on determines the type of life one is going to have and whether there will be a lifelong suffering or there will be a lifelong enjoyment, right? Is decided based on the type of thinking and the approach one is having for others. Because of this particular reason only, fifth house is sometimes taken as the house of Puru Punya or good karmas only. According to me, it is not the Purva Punyas that you have from the previous life that is indicated from the ninth house. In fact, these are those karmas that you do in this life and the results that you reap accordingly. So fifth house is more of Kriyamana karma and ninth house is more of Prarabdh karma. Right? So it is important for the person to think good for the society, to think good of others and do good to others. Only then one will be able to have the real happiness, contentment, enjoyment in life. People who are jealous or people who are competitive may get an edge at that point of time, but in long run, it gives misery, dissatisfaction, and, you know, makes one bad natured only. Not only this one thing I have seen that if the fifth house is having a malefic and this malefic is influenced by another retrograde planet or another malefic planet, in this particular scenario, one can be deeply indulged into vices right? Addictions. This can be any type of addiction, whether it is womanizing or taking alcohol, drugs, or any of these things. One can be into such habits. And uh, the predictive part is one will be in such habits. And the cautionary part is that if someone is having this combination, they should try to control their mind. They should try to control the type of desire that they are having that I should do this or I should do that. And because these people have a very strong chances of going into vices and destroying their lives and destroying opportunities because of overindulgence into these bad things. So this is something that these people should avoid. They should make sure that nothing bad becomes a habit. Otherwise, it will become very, very problematic for them. My concept regarding education is very simple. In the case of male ascendants, in the case of male ascendant, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. First, you should check the fifth house, the planet situated in the fifth house, the planet aspecting the fifth house, or the Rashi occupied by the fifth lord planet conjoining with the fifth lord aspecting the fifth lord to decide the education that the native is having. With respect to education, you should refer to my video of 10th house where I have described the profession indicated by all the planets and the same list will work with respect to education also the education related to the professions that is indicated in the 10th house video is what one will have so you will have to refer to that video in the case of female ascendant taurus cancer virgo scorpio capricorn and pisces it is the fourth house planet and the fourth house planet aspecting the fourth house the 
rashi occupied by the fourth lord and other planets conjoining or obstructing the fourth lord is what decides the education so if you want to find the education of the native the education that one will get or better the education that one should get that will make them successful this particular secret technique from my researches is what you should apply it gives a better result because talking of classics some classics will tell you fourth houses for education some will tell you fifth houses for education there is much confusion in this regard and this is my research for male ascendant check the fifth house for female ascendant check the fourth house how to use this technique that I have told you? Education indicated by different houses and different planets I have well covered in my uh, video related to the analysis of the 10th house. So you should refer to that particular video and use the same knowledge here as well. Now, along with that, the fifth house also talks about mantra. Now, our sages have done a lot of hard work. They have witnessed deities, witnessed the power of the deities and they have made these things. Tantra, Mantra, Yantra is the result of their ultimate vision which they have made for the betterment of mankind. Mantra is more or less like self-suggestion or auto-suggestion in the language of the gods which when done properly can even change what is written in the fortune. This is the speciality with the spiritual remedies. The spiritual remedies can change what is written in the fortune. Other remedies, other than spiritual remedies, they cannot change what is written in the fortune. They can just make you more prepared to face it. Or they can make you focus on something else so that it does not hurt you much. But they cannot change what is going to happen. Spiritual remedies, worship of deities, chanting of mantras, visiting of temples, doing homa, yajna, havan. They can actually change what is written in the stars. So these spiritual remedies, if one is able to do, they should do. If one is not able to do, then they can take help of some professional priest to get it done. It will be very, very beneficial for the native. This goes without saying. Now talking of the fifth house, which indicates a DT also, and talking of the fifth house, which indicates mantra also. Four or five things I have seen. Four or five things from my researches, from my observations, I will tell you. First of all, if the fifth lord is going into a male sign, male sign I have just told you, Right, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Then one should worship a male deity. If the fifth lord is going into a female sign, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn and Pisces, then one should worship a female deity. And this deity is like Ishta Devata of the native. Ishta Devata is your, like, you know, Ishta Devata is like your parent. When you continuously keep on worshipping your Ishta Devata, small problems in life, financial difficulties, fights in home, dissatisfaction of people around you, these small difficulties disappear slowly, slowly. Bigger problems such as childbirth, bad marriage, etc. also becomes good with proper dedication and devotion. If it does not become good, then at least you have some things of solace. Right. For example, a bad marriage may not convert into divorce, but slowly, slowly some understanding happens and though it may not become very good like a good marriage, but still it is something that can be worked with, that one can be happy with, right, after ignoring a few things. Right. Talking of planets, if the planet connected to the fifth house, sitting in the fifth house, expecting the fifth house or conjoined with the fifth lord, now, as per the Rashi of the fifth Lord, you will decide whether you are going to worship the male deity or you are going, going to worship the female deity. Right now, as per planet, you should decide the deity. If sun is connected to first, you will give preference to fifth house, then the preference to the planet aspecting the fifth house, then the planet with the fifth Lord, then the planet, sorry, then the planet aspecting the fifth Lord, lastly, the planet with the fifth Lord, right? This order you will see. Planet in fifth house, aspecting fifth house, aspecting fifth Lord with fifth Lord, four setup. If there is more than one planet connected, then one can either worship all of these planets or one should take the strongest deity. Uh, one should take the deity represented by strongest out of these planets or one can choose the deity as per their liking. This particular thing about liking of a deity, some may like Vishnu more, some may like Krishna more, some may like Shiva more. So choosing a deity as per your liking is always better in the case of spirituality because one will naturally feel affinity towards the Deity which represents their psyche in a better way, the subconscious mind in a better way. So choice as per the likelihood of mind is more preferred, is better preferred as compared to anything else. 
keeping this particular thing in mind, if sun is connected to the fifth house, then in male deities one can worship Shiva, in female deities one should worship Durga. Ashtabuja Durga, Dasabuja Durga, Durga with eight or ten hands is preferred. In the case of moon, in male deities one should worship Shiva, in female deities one should worship Parvati, or Mahavidyas also one can worship. Specifically, gods related to motherhood, Parvati, right, and Kali, they are more recommended to worship. In the case of Mars, in male deities, one can worship Bhairav Hanuman. In the case of female deity, one can worship fierce female goddesses, Kali, Chandi, Bhagalamukhi, etc. One can worship. With respect to Mahavidyas, directly doing the mantras of the Mahavidyas, I don't recommend. One zero eight names of Mahavidyas, you can do. Best thing is visiting the temple of Mahavidyas, giving offering in the temple of Mahavidyas, giving donation in the temples of Mahavidyas is recommended. In the case of Mercury, in male planets, one can choose Ram, Krishna or Vishnu. In female planets, it is better to worship Lakshmi. Yeah, better to worship Lakshmi for Mercury. Right, Sita and Radha can also be worshipped. For Jupiter, in male planets, one should worship Shiva in the formless form. Shivaling one should worship. Or Shiva with a family, one should worship in the case of male deities. In the case of female deities, worshipping Durga is for Jupiter also. Along with that, Indrani Sachi should be worshipped, but many people may not know the method of worshipping Sachi. So Durga, I am telling you, though if you know how to worship Sachi, then worship of Sachi is also highly recommended. For the case of Venus, if Venus is connected with the fifth house, then in male deities, one should worship Shiva and the forms of Shiva. In female deities, one should worship Lakshmi and Naburna and other Rasik goddess, Lalita Thakur Sundari, Bala, Goddess Bala and all of them can be worshipped. In that case, when Saturn is connected to fifth house in male deities, one should worship Narayan, one can worship Hanuman, Bhairav or Brahma. In female deities, one should worship Tara, Kali or Baglamukhi. Namasta can also be worshipped and fierce form of goddesses can be easily worshipped. For the case of Rahu, if Rahu is connected to the fifth house, then Bhairav Hanuman, these two male deities should be worshipped. In goddesses, Saraswati and Durga should be worshipped. For Ketu, in male deity, Hanuman, Ganesh, Haigriv should be worshipped. And in female deities, Shinnamasta should be worshipped. Right. Tulsi can also be worshipped for Mercury and Ketu. And Sita is uh, Sita and uh, Radha one should worship for Mercury. I must have told you before also. So choice of the deity according to the Rashi occupied by the fifth lord should be done. And the choice of the male and the female deity should be done accordingly. On the other hand, if one does not want to worship female deity or if one does not feel affinity to female deity, then in that particular scenario, if the fifth lord is going into a female Rashi, but you are choosing a male deity only in that particular scenario, mantras ending with Namaha can be chosen to worship the deity. That is also good. So if the fifth lord is going into a female Rashi, but one is choosing to worship a male deity, then one should make sure to chant the mantra of the male deity ending with Namaha. Right, that will be better. This one should do. Along with that, because fifth lord indicates mantra also, one should see the house where the fifth lord is situated in. If the fifth lord is in ascendant or if the fifth lord is in the seventh house, then one lettered mantra of the deity, rather you say beach mantra of the deity, Shreem for Lakshmi, Am for uh, Saraswati, etc., should be chosen. When the fifth lord is going into second house or twelfth house, then two lettered mantra of the deity Namah Shivai, Namo Narayan, these type of mantra or taking the name of the deity and adding Namah or Namo before or after the name, this type of mantra should be chosen. Fifth lord going into third house or eleventh house, three lettered mantra Om Namah Shivai, right? 
etcetera should be chosen fifth lord going into fourth house or tenth house four lettered mantras of deity such as om namo bhagavate vasudevaya should be chosen fifth lord going into fifth house and ninth house five lettered mantras of the deity should be chosen for chanting this will be your mool mantra this will be your ishta mantra and this mantra you will chant at least three malas every day either on your hand or on a specific mala that is loved by the deity that is good if the fifth lord goes into 6000 or 8000 then six letter six lettered mantras can be chosen many a times all lettered mantras are not available for a deity lately in the last 15 20 years astrologers have made some very hypothetical self made mantras which they also recommended to their uh, disciples students or whoever come to consultation for them and eventually this mantra does not work these people come to consult me then they tell me this mantra guru ji have given me and it is not working because it is a fantasy mantra that they have made themselves it is not supposed to work that is very sad and that is very clear in that particular scenario my approach is very simple don't make a mantra which is not found from an authentic source at least the astrologer should be aware in this particular regard that they should recommend a mantra that they themselves have some experience with don't give a mantra which you have not chanted yourself or whose results you have not seen with yourself at I have not seen yourself, and specifically in the case of Mahavidyas, don't just give mantras of Mahavidyas. In the worship of Mahavidya, if one wants to worship Mahavidya, they need proper initiation. So, in the case of Mahavidyas, telling the person to take the Nama mantra and chanting, uh, you know, and just chanting the one zero eight names of the Mahavidya is enough. And more than that, more than this, a person should not do until and unless properly initiated. so this is something that you should keep in mind now what i was telling you that if one is not getting that particular mantra two lettered four lettered five lettered mantra of the deity then what to do then if the fifth lord is in ascendant or seventh house then one should take name mantra nama mantra of the deity for example if one is to worship ram one should chant ram 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 only for worshiping krishna one should worship krishna 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 only in this particular case one should take the name of the deity every time whenever they are free they should take name of the deity this is best recommended for them when the fifth lord is going into second house and 12th house in that particular scenario as i told you before taking the name of the deity and adding namo or namaha before or after the name of the deity is what should be chanted this is also very simple easy mantra to make so this an easily found for every deity right namo narayan right and all of uh, these mantras namah shivaya divya namah lakshmi namah these uh, mantras can be easily given these are also simply name mantras so that is also very good when the fifth lord is going into the third house or 11th house then om should be added before the name namah should be added after the name and that should be chanted this is once again uh, for a different formation for nama mantra itself and uh, there is no harm in doing this so you can take of any deity for example if you uh, if you want to chant a mantra for rama and the fifth lord is going into third or 11th house then om rama ay namaha this you can do putting om before the name and namaha after the name and you can easily chant this mantra and this is okay when the fifth lord is going into fourth house and 10th house in that particular scenario generally one should choose a mantra where the deity is worshiped with their female power so for example if one is going to do a mantra for ram then om sita ram abhya namaha or om sita ram abhyo namaha this mantra should be chosen so fifth lord in fourth house or 10th uh, house one should worship in the same mantra one should worship the god and the female power of the goddess right uh, counterpart of the god female counterpart of the god and the name of the god itself should be combined in one mantra and that should be chanted it is good if the fifth lord is in the fifth house itself or the fifth lord is going into ninth house then in this particular scenario also if no mantra is found then the bij mantra itself can be chanted the basic mantra of the deity itself can be chanted if not then in the fifth house and when the fifth lord is going into fifth house or ninth house in that particular scenario is stotra related to the deity if chanted is good in this particular stotra if it is an stotra which features one of the major mantra of the deity for example in sri suktam the uh, gayatri of uh, the gayatri mantra of lakshmi goddess also comes 
for lakshmi sri suktam should be chanted for shiva shiv panchakshar stotram is the stotram from where the panchakshri mantra of shiva comes right so such stotras where there is a uses of or that particular stotra where there is a hidden mantra of the deity in the stotra itself that should be chanted and that is very good in that particular case when the fifth lord is going into sixth house or eighth house then one should worship a fierce form of the deity right a form of the deity which is related with the killing of a particular demon right that should be worshiped for example if one is to worship the forms of vishnu then narsimha form of vishnu should be worshiped if one is to worship shiva then the killer of the demon taraka right that particular form or the rudra form of shiva or the natraj form of shiva should be worshiped that is better and the mantra can be chosen accordingly so this is about, about mantras and doing the suitable mantra choosing the suitable deity to worship as per the fifth house when you do it over the time with proper dedication and devotion you will see that small problems in your life will disappear the life will become smooth it will be happy people will support you you will have good and cordial relationships with people around you and big problems also over the time will get resolved one after another or you will have a good way out of it so what is needed is proper dedication and devotion and then even the fortune can change when you do the spiritual remedies so this is something that you will have to keep in mind the most important thing that comes from the fifth house is child so one should understand this particular thing that if the fifth lord is powerful then one will have child if the fifth lord is weak then there can be difficulties in having a child in this particular case for male horoscope ascendant and third house should ascendant and third house should also be analyzed ascendant third house and fifth house all three of them are powerful then one will quickly get child after marriage any two of them is powerful in 2 3 years after marriage one can get child right only one of this is powerful then one will eventually if the fifth lord is powerful other two are weak then one will eventually get a child but for this the matchmaking should be proper right along with fifth house at least third lord or ascendant lord should also be powerful for the person to have child otherwise it is not good in the case of female horoscopes fourth house and ninth house should also be seen with respect to fifth house to properly analyze about child birth fifth fourth and ninth all three houses are good the female will quickly have child after marriage only two of these houses are good fifth house have to be essentially good fifth and ninth are good or fifth and fourth are good in that particular scenario after some delay 2 3 years after marriage one will get child only fifth house is uh, only fifth house is powerful ninth and fourth are not powerful then in that particular scenario having a child may be difficult but eventually one can get it with some remedies and proper planning and after consulting a doctor it should be analyzed accordingly in this particular setup if the fifth lord is going into fourth house which is a bad setup like because the fifth lord is in 12th from the fourth house then i have seen with proper remedies and in right dasha antar dasha one can get child but if one is not having a powerful planet in horoscope or if one is not getting dasha of a powerful planet then fifth lord in fourth house can also deny child right fifth lord going into sixth house is not very problematic one will have a child but having enmity because of child delays in child birth the child having weak health after birth is there is there that is something that happens fifth lord going in the eighth house it generally delays child and after patients at right point of time only child birth can be expected but other than that this is not a combination which will completely deny child provided the fact that the fifth lord in eighth house is powerful it will eventually give you a child only in that particular case when fifth lord in eighth house is not powerful then it will become problematic it have to be kept in mind fifth lord going into 10th house it is 6th house from the 5th house not a very conducive placement for having children other houses for male lagna in third house for female fourth house and ninth house if powerful then only it will give child but in this case also first of all child birth will be after delay there can be enmity or separation with child growing up or growing up the child is difficult and later on the child can give miseries to the native also 
fifth lord going in the 12th house though the native is very intelligent but the child birth can be delayed provided the fact that other houses are powerful houses that i have just mentioned to you only in that case fifth lord and 12th house will give you child but in any case fifth lord and 12th house is not a very good setup to have children so one will either be separated from their child or if their child lives with them then it will be a great nuisance and the person will only get miseries from child so it is better if one does not have children then it is good right other than that coming to the fifth house sun in the fifth house is not very good for children as such sun in the fifth house is generally problematic for children so if you are having sun in the fifth house then first of all the child birth can be delayed if the first child is female then sun connected to the fifth house will give you more children otherwise not right in any case sun connected to fifth house will give delay in child birth and child can also be problematic later on right he can be a difficult child growing up and in young age they can you know they can argue they can be argumentative and they can be problematic they can be nuisance creators so one should keep this in mind moon connected to fifth house when this moon is also connected to moon and saturn both connected to fifth house or when this moon is anyhow also connected to saturn either in rashi or navamsh then in that particular scenario one generally have children but this children is very delayed just before menopause or just before very old age like this is a combination for getting child in old age other than that moon connected to fifth house is not much of a problem alone moon connected to the fifth house is okay it will give child more specifically in female horoscope moon connected to fifth house makes sure that the female is going to have a child but this child birth is bit delayed if the child is a male then it is the only child if the child is female then one can expect one more child from moon if mars is connected to the fifth house then it is good mars connected to fifth house is not problematic though before marriage one can have affair with someone and in that affair one can accidentally conceive and then you know like they may commit abortion and such things which will be a very bad karma so about this the native should be careful apart from this after initial struggles and hurdles mars in the fifth house will give child specifically for male horoscope mars connected to fifth house makes sure that you have children so after delay and some abortions and some failed pregnancies you will have some like wife will have some failed pregnancies if you are male you are not going to have a pregnancy that you know in the case of female mars connected to fifth house is not very conducive for child birth and if this mars is connected with another malefic or if there is dual malefic influence on the fifth house then it can deny child birth also in the case when there is a denial of child birth in one horoscope but one still wants child one have to make sure that they do proper match making before marriage in this part in this match making one should keep in mind that if the life partner is having very strong chances for child very like chances for quick quickly having child after marriage then in that particular case one can have children despite the fact that if they are having no combination for having child but in this particular case you also have to make sure that the lagna lord of the partner is more powerful than your lagna or lagna lord because in a couple horoscope of the person having a stronger ascendant or ascendant lord is the ruling horoscope and the other person is the subservient horoscope so first of all if you are having no combinations for having child but still you want to have child then in that scenario get married to someone who is having strong combinations for having child and the person should also have a lagna or lagna lord more powerful than your lagna or lagna lord in this case their horoscope will be ruling and you will have a child so this is something that you should take care mercury connected to fifth house is almost good though it gives very few children one or two children but it gives the children for sure if this mercury is connected to saturn or another malefic then in that particular scenario it will deny child otherwise mercury gives children but it is very few children one child only is what mercury will indicate in this particular case also this child given by mercury is generally very much dependent on yourself and this is a child that you will have to take care of throughout your lifetime the child is not easily successful and one have to you know like babysit their child for long so this is a problem that comes with mercury connected to the fifth house but 
Jupiter connected to fifth house provided the fact the person wants child. Then Jupiter connected to the fifth house. I have seen it gives child to the native for sure. Even in very old age, using IVF and other such things, one gets child for sure. So the connection of Jupiter to the fifth house at least ensures children. The child is also good, obedient. Child listens to you. Child is self-dependent and the progress of the child in later years of life in your old age gives you much happiness also. Venus connected to fifth house initially can give lost pregnancies. Right. One, two lost failed pregnancies Venus connected to the fifth house can give. But after that, Venus is good for childbirth. Specifically in male horoscope, Venus connected to fifth house ensures that there will be childbirth. And the child will be good well to do also. In female horoscope as well, Venus connected to fifth house makes sure that the native is going to have childbirth. But the combination of initially one to failed pregnancies or loss of child is more strongly indicated with the connection of Venus in the Venus to the fifth house in female horoscope. Saturn connected to the fifth house generally delays the childbirth. If Saturn is connected with another malefic or connected with moon, it will general it significantly delays childbirth. <coughs> But provided the fact that this Saturn is powerful, one will eventually have child for sure. Saturn connected to fifth house afflicted by another malefic or weak Saturn connected to the fifth house is not very good for children. It generally indicates failed pregnancies. Or if it gives childbirth, then the child can have problems while developing. The child can have weak health also. So unless supported by other strong factors or other good factors, only Saturn connected to fifth house does not give children. If it gives, it gives child very late in life. So when you are in old age and when you want a child, the child is not yet grown up or not yet settled. The child is himself in, uh, you know, formative years, which is not very good setup as such. Rahu connected to the fifth house will give children. Generally, it gives multiple children, good children it gives. So Rahu connected to fifth house is one of the best setup. Ketu connected to the fifth house also. The problem is that one may not like children, one may not want children. But in that particular case where people want, they will generally have a child. With Ketu's connection to the fifth house. In this particular case, generally I have seen Ketu or Mercury connected to fifth house will give twin children also. One thing is very certain, be it a benefic planet or a malefic planet, if the planet is powerful, exalted, multricon, vargottam, surashi, and it is connected to the fifth house, it will make sure that the native have a child. On the other hand, weak planet, combust, going into planetary war, debilitated, these planets when connected to the fifth house, no matter even if they are beneficial planets, generally because they are weak indicates the native is weak or unable to produce child. In this particular case, a proper matchmaking with the ascendant and ascendant lord of the spouse being more powerful than your ascendant and ascendant lord is needed for the child to be there. Otherwise, it is problematic. In the case of children, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Rahu indicate male children. Saturn also indicates male children and Mercury, Moon, Venus, Ketu indicate female children. So two things are there. You should find the number of planets influencing the fifth house, fifth lord by conjunction or uh, aspect. Out of these planets, you should take the strongest planet. Count the number of strong planets connected to fifth house and fifth lord. That is the number of children that one is going to have. Do this exercise in the horoscope of husband and wife both and whichever gives the minimum number, take that number. Now, depending on the horoscope of husband and wife, whoever is having a strong ascendant and strong ascendant lord, that is the ruling chart. In that chart, check this rule. Check all the planets connected to fifth house and fifth lord by way of association or respect. Write them one after another with degrees. The planet with the lowest number of degrees will indicate the first child, the planet with higher degrees than that will indicate second child, the planet with more higher degrees will indicate the third child and so on and so forth. Now, based on the gender of the planet that I have told you, you can decide the gender of the first child, second child, third child, etc. Right. In this particular case, remember that exalted planets will generally indicate a male child and uh, debilitated planets will generally indicate a female child. And if the planet is retrograde, then the gender indicated by the planet will be reversed. 
for a particular example if it looks difficult to you i will give you an example for example take this particular horoscope moon is connected to fifth house and fifth lord is saturn and this saturn is aspected by mars so moon is connected to fifth house and uh, saturn is the fifth lord which is connected to mars right so two planets are connected to fifth house it will indicate two children moon is having five degrees and mars connected to the fifth lord is having 20 degrees so moon will indicate the first child and moon being a female planet first child will be female and second child is indicated by mars and mars is a male planet so second child will be a male right this is how the gender of the child should be predicted and the number of children should be predicted in this case moon and mars both are powerful you see mars is in his own rashi and uh, moon is almost okay okay moon is in the rashi of capricorn going into aquarius navamsh so according to my definition of varkottam this moon is varkottam so that is in this particular case in childbirth if you know the multiplication factors and how i use it about which i have discussed in my previous videos then that multiplication factor also you should apply and uh, predict result as per that not only this, when a strong planet is connected to fifth house exalted Muldrikon Vargottam Sarashi, such a strong planet is connected to the fifth house, it does indicate that person will have good status and good position in life. A strong planet connected to fifth house will ensure Rajayog. Rajayog means that either one is connected to government, one works in connection to government, one is a government servant, or it does indicate that the person is very highly placed in their profession where they have many people working under them whom they control, they are ruler over many. Right? So this was also something that should be very, like the level that one will enjoy in life, the status in professional life that one will enjoy is also directly proportionate to fifth house. And if a strong planet is connected to fifth house, it makes sure that you enjoy a good position in your profession also. Some people, at least some teachers teach that because fifth house is eighth house from the 10th house, it indicates loss of job and things like that. It is not good. First of all, it is fundamentally incorrect. If you take the 10th house, then 9th house is 12th from the 10th house and fifth house is eighth from the 10th house, which technically should be bad. But if you go by the principles of the Rishis, fifth lord or ninth lord connected to the 10th house will make a Raji Yoga. But this particular principle goes against that. So either these people are more intelligent than the Rishis or the Rishis are the Rishis are more important. What is truth that you yourself decide? I don't support this particular formula. Right? So this is a wrong concept. If you believe in such concepts, then please watch some 300, 400 horoscopes and only then make, you know, make a particular judge, make a particular, uh, you know, rule in your mind. Right? Just because You know, just because it looks logical to you does not mean it works only. And because fifth house indicates intelligence also, I'm telling you from my intelligence that if something comes from sages, whatever is coming from sages is at least backed by 5,000 to 7,000 years of parampara of astrology. Right? So over the words of someone and the words of Rishi, give preference to the word of the Rishi. Right? This will be better for you. coming to planets if there is sun connected to the fifth house then in that particular scenario first of all one can be very highly placed in their profession one can be in a government job also one will be spiritual one will only do what they believe to be true that right? these persons generally do not compromise on their ethics and on their ethics and morals they can be well supported by their fathers, well supported by their parents, fathers specifically. This person can have problems related to stomach digestion, headache will be there. There, they have long life. Their financial condition is generally good. They get good support from family and family members. Their siblings are specifically very supportive to them. Mother can suffer bad health and mother can uh, suffer difficulties in life. But these people will be winner over their enemies. The life partner can also come from a very influential family and life partner will also be very well to do. The person will be fortunate. 
and uh, they will uh, like work for long and there will be good income in their profession as well good income from their uh, like good income from their profession as well and these people can also have more than one sources of income when moon is connected to fifth house in this particular scenario one is emotional one can be interested into poetry one is very sweet spoken generally moon connected to fifth house these people are you know like these people can have multiple affairs and relationships specifically in male horoscopes these people are generally flocked by women and multiple women want to have a relationship and affair with them for which they should not fall because if they then it if they fall for multiple relationships then whenever they get married their marital life is not good and then can be problems with life partner life partner comes from well well to do family generally from business background and there is good understanding between the native and their life partner however because of enmity jealousy of people there can be problems in life they can lose significant amount of money because of court case and litigation the relationship with father may not be very cordial the person will keep on losing jobs the stability in profession is not very good one will be interested in doing business will be successful in doing business also but things such as successful in doing business etc should only be predicted after proper analysis of all the factors of the horoscope and just based on one factor such prediction should not be made such people will also do much uh, travels in uh, their life they will have good international contacts these people will be scholarly well acclaimed liked by many famous they will specifically be supported by female members of the family specifically relatives of the mother sisters of the mothers will love them a lot right their siblings may have unstable life and their siblings may need them for support very often because of which they uh, you know like they should not expect much from their siblings as in because their siblings will not be in a position to help or support them generally and they they can expect good rewards from mother also their mothers can leave them some inheritance and when they listen to their mother when they take the advice of their mothers before doing anything it will make sure that they remain successful mother is very lucky and fortunate for them in nutshell when mars is situated in the fifth house in this particular scenario one can be uh, like because of enmity one can lose their mental peace one can be tensed about their enmity because of enmity loss of uh, many major things can happen in life in middle ages one may have to struggle and the result uh, of the efforts either will be compromised or will come late in life one should be careful about accidents and accidentally wounding themselves one should be careful specifically while traveling etc and doing things which can possibly hurt you one should take proper precautions ups and downs are there in life right there can be urgent need of money for which the person may not be well prepared and one may have one may be forced to take loans so one should keep uh, you know one should keep good investments to utilize at difficult times otherwise it will be uh, problematic for them one will enjoy good position in life after the age of 30 35 their financial condition will also improve generally this is a combination which does not indicate much success in love affairs but marital life provided the fact that they do not abuse their life partner and they respect their life partner properly and provided the fact that their life partner is younger than them then their marital life is also good their relationship is not very good with people generally with mars in the fifth house one can be suspected to theft burglary and other such things also so on security they should be very careful about security they can be hurt while traveling also so they should be careful about they should be careful while traveling like taking proper care of their bags and their belongings they should do otherwise it will be problematic for them there will be losses on account of enmity litigations because of court cases and because of jealousy there can be dissatisfaction discontentment in life also so jealousy and enmity they should avoid at every cost their life partner will be professionally successful though coming from a humble background with the support of their life partner they will be successful they may not be much supported by their family members as such they can come from a humble background 
but they and their siblings will do well in life and will support each other right their mother sometimes can be cruel to them their mothers may not be very compassionate towards them and they can have a strict mother but after they grow up after the age of 30s they will get good support of their mother also mercury in the 5th house makes the native very intelligent well positioned interested in business these people have good foresight unexpected gains through stock market investments etc is also there the native is learned liked by many famous they have good qualities people want to become like them not by their family members but the extended family members siblings of mother and father support them these people though generally timid but when it comes to risk taking they will show very good courage and generally between the ages of 30 to 45 they will do maximum professional progress their mother will also have a business uh, you know their mother will also have very good business acumen and can belong from business families and families are traditionally doing business they will also get good support from the mother side right professional rivalry in their workplace can cause much harm so they should make sure to have very cordial relationships with other businessmen or their subordinates their life partner will also be well learned acclaimed owner will come from good families but their life partners can be you know like can have a very like depressive or negative type of thinking their life partner can have which can be problematic their life partner may not be very enthusiastic so this is something that they have to work with life is generally stable but some unexpected loss unexpected loss of job unexpected loss of money can create financial or professional difficulties about which the native should be careful generally i have seen that mercury connected to fifth house person starts working in some area but later on finds that they are not interested more in this and they want to change their job or entirely change their their field of work like it is someone who have done engineering and have worked in engineering department for 10 15 years and suddenly wants to and all of this and wanted to become a poet so such a dilemmas can come in middle ages and one should take the first step it's first step after proper thinking so that these situations does not come because if it comes it pushes the person in a state of confusion for 5 6 years which negatively hampers their future progress right so this is something that they should be careful about jupiter in the 5th house will give you good happy life multiple means of enjoyment are there the person is intelligent and avid reader intellectual their plannings will always work the way they want they will also have good sense of foresight whatever they think will come to pass will come to pass for sure they generally have a healthy life there is a tendency of being obese so they should work on keeping themselves fit there are not much ups and downs in life life is almost secure these people are also happy they live a luxurious life they almost have all sources of enjoyment from their father they are well supported by their fathers they belong from good family good lineage their family is well respected in the area and the society they are born in their professional life is also very stable they enjoy good position in life they are almost ir- irreplaceable they have good professional contacts because of this they will always have work and they will always find themselves very much valued in the organization that they work they will be very fortunate also they will have good contacts specifically gains by government will be there the person will be like will be known as a guru personality or as someone who is very capable in guiding generally people will come to take advices from him person will have multiple sources of income also all the wishes and desires of the native will be fulfilled the life partner will be learned well acclaimed owned the life partner will also have good financial background comes from a very well uh, very well to do family this person can be you know like the person can be miser in spending money so this is something where they should work and 
like you know like compromising on the quality of living just to save money is something that they should not do though this is not something which brings them bad result right but you know the level of achievements that they are having is not well reflected in their lifestyle this is the type of person who will want to save money and do everything on their own this is not very good because of which the person may get very less time to spend with themselves or very less time to rest which can create small issues in health later on so this is something that should be avoided these people are supported by their family members both their parents love them they get good inheritance they are also supported well by their siblings as well and they are generally very successful well to do happy venus connected to fifth house is good the person can be interested into poetry the person can be an author venus mercury moon jupiter any of them connected to the fifth house will make the person a very successful author also if they choose to write something venus connected to the fifth house person can be interested in to poetry connoisseur of luxury and beauty this person will also have multiple affairs woman will want to have a relationship with him always flocked by surrounded by women or people of opposite gender basically right will be flocked by them in the middle ages they will be very successful this technique i told you in the starting itself right benefic planet in the fifth house in the middle ages from the age of 28 to uh, from the age of 25 26 up to the age of 55 60 the person is very successful life is easy going they achieve everything there is no major tension in life they get good position name fame status in society people want to become like him people aspire to become like him person have a very good cordial nature enjoy right people enjoy their company right they have good friend circle they have appreciable qualities loved and supported by their family members specifically female members of the family right though their siblings may not be a great support to them but they will also love them they can get good inheritance from their mother and father both with respect to enmity they are generally successful but if these people have enmity with women then enmity with women can create issues in their life as such venus in the fifth house is also a very good combination for love marriage one can be very successful in love, love marriage life partner can also be a great achiever in life life partner will be very beautiful very supportive there will be very good relationship and understanding with the native and the life partner that this i am telling you like i have a horoscope in my mind with venus in the fifth house very bad marriage life partner does not love the lady completely ignores her right but this result is more because the uh, venus is the seventh lord in the fifth house and this venus is there with sun also who is combust so the result is entirely opposite of what i am telling you and this will happen because other factors are there and as i told you in the starting take all the factors into consideration before prediction so this is something that you will keep in mind right this you do not ignore the result that i am telling you is pure result of venus in the fifth house in this modifications according to the houses lorded by venus and the influence of venus over uh, influence over venus of beneficial planet malefic planet friendly planet and inimical planet should be done before making a prediction right this is very basic this you will keep in mind coming back to venus in fifth house it will generally give long life to the native stable life to the native right the person enjoys good position in their profession also generally these people after working into corporate life for some 20 30 years they change their profession to pursue their passion these people with mercury in the fifth house and venus in the fifth house also these people can have natural talents of singing dancing acting painting etc which they can pursue and if they pursue that they can very become they can become very famous and acclaimed in the skills that they follow or if they choose their profession according to their skill then they can be very successful in their profession also Venus in the fifth house is also very good for traveling. The person generally travels, enjoys life, right, and can have international name, fame, status, and contact. The person lives a life which many people aspire to live. It is a very good setup. Saturn in the fifth house generally the rise of luck happens late in life. The person have weak body, lack of vitamins and minerals may make the native feel very tired or recover from disease. very slowly so this is something that happens in young age the person will have to struggle they will do more hard work less result they will get sometimes money can be struck and they cannot 
they generally do not get financial reward as much as they deserve. Even before the income is earned, liabilities are there. These people should try to try to avoid taking loans as far as possible. The aspiration of earning money by investments in stock market, etc., is also not very successful in the best case. They can earn from stock market only one or two, two times, but that this will not be very significant. Even if they earn a significant money, they cannot do uh, significant things from that income. So this is something that have to be kept in mind. Though family members want to support them and they can inherit the family profession also, but the condition of the family will not be very good to support them. Right. So even if they inherit family profession, then also they will have to do a lot of hard work after their success. Everyone in the family will become successful and they will support him. But the native have to become successful himself first and then he will have to uplift the complete family. The mother can come from a humble background and mother can struggle in life. Mother can have uh, you know, problems in life also. But this person will be very much attached to their mother and listening to the advice of mother will be good for them. Relationship with father will not be very cordial. There can be differences with father. Right. Because of enmity with uh, governmental people, they can also have losses. Because of doing things which are, uh, uh, you know, which are against the government, these people can also be punished. Saturn in the fifth house is also a combination where the person, because of their mistakes, may have to go into imprisonment, etc. So they have to be very careful about not committing those things which can land them into problem. These people generally take early retirements or leave their professional life to pursue things that they, to pursue their hobby, to pursue their interest. Success and stability in life only comes after the age of 40. Marital life is satisfactory, but these people can be ignored by their life partners. And to develop the understanding with spouse can take some time. And these people may have to compromise greatly on their wishes and aspirations and desires. Rahu in the fifth house person can be very person will be very successful and famous. The person will also have good spiritual achievements, right? Siddhi in mantras and all of these things the person will have, but there will be a tendency of misusing these things to do bad to people also. Something which the native should avoid because if they don't do it, if they use their powers, skill contact to harm people, then it will put them into an endless chain of enmity and revenge and will stop their progress. Other than that, the native is intelligent. Their plannings about life is true, comes true. The native is opportunistic, very clever, very street smart. So that those who know their true nature generally tries to avoid them because of which they do not build very good relationships. So being clever and intelligent is good. But cheating people for your benefits is something that they should avoid. Otherwise, it will not let them have very good relationships with people. These people generally come from good families, well-to-do families. Their mother, father, both are well settled and generally life up to 30, 35 years of age is well settled because of because their parents are successful. They are also well supported by their siblings, darling of their siblings. They will also have good friend circle, but because they have a, you know, like because they have a tendency of being opportunistic, it will not be real friends. It will not be a friend who will come to your rescue in difficult times, but to say the social circle will be good at least. Right. And uh, they will be successful over their enemies and competition. Some serious health problems can come in the middle ages between the age of 30 to 30 and 30 years onwards, there can be some serious health problems to the native. So they should keep good care of it and any health problem, if it comes, they should like consult the doctor as soon as possible. Whatever the doctor says they, they should do and keep good check over their health. Though these people gain from government, but because of enmity with governmental employees or because of doing things which are not supported by the government, these people can also land into problems. So this is something that they should avoid. These people will have multiple sources of income. They will earn well. 
and either by hook or crook this person will get all whatever they want fulfill for fulfillment of wishes and desire this is a very good combination marital life initially there will be ups and downs but later on it will become better provided the fact matchmaking is good and they spend good time with life partner if they ignore their life partner then this is a combination which can lead them to divorce also generally person is unsuccessful in their love affairs and at least in the first two love affairs they are unsuccessful in and only later on they become successful in their love affairs right their life partner also can have an sadistic approach towards life and their personal life home life with spouse may not be very exciting as such ketu in the fifth house person is very intelligent earns good money into business the person is very successful the person is a mathematician knows well about finances and how to manage money professionally is very successful family comes from a humble background have to support their family generally these people have liabilities that they inherit from their parents and these liabilities they will have to repay first which takes their ages of enjoyment and right from the time when they take the responsibility say the age of 20 to 25 up to the age of 40 45 first of all they will have to work to stable themselves and take their family out of problems only after that they can expect to have things of their own marital life is not very good delayed marriage marriage more than one marriage bad understanding with life partner separation is the result the siblings are well to do well well established well settled in life so supporting the sibling is not an issue however the the sibling also does not support them and only in the most difficult times they can expect some support from the sibling other than that their siblings also do not have very good relationship with them it is a relationship of profit only right they will help you bare minimum what is needed not more than that though the mother is much attached to the native and native is much attached to their mother but somehow what i have seen that it is the too much love of the mother is what keeps this native and the dog so they should come out of the shadow of their mother and take responsibilities themselves only then they will be good otherwise over indulgence of mother in personal life can spoil their personal life by personal life i mean relationship with spouse so this is something that they should be careful about generally these people live long and they have a good health but lifestyle related issues diabetes etc they can have so be careful about it meeting with accidents or getting wounded because of being careless while doing things is also very possible so they should avoid these things also their professional life is good they do not do very good working for others if they do business only then they are very successful ketu in the fifth house makes sure that even you know like even when the person is experimenting with something uh, they will earn money generally such people also earn good amount of money through unexpected sources like you know getting rewarded getting financially rewarded because of helping someone or you know investing into this new age things so such as cryptocurrency etc giving them money is also something that i have noticed with ketu in the fifth house right so these are the results of the planet in fifth house and how to analyze the fifth house i have covered almost all the significant areas that comes to my mind right now as i told you when you are going to analyze the planet you will keep in mind all the factors the planet is lord of which house the planet is sitting in which condition is it powerful or not it is influenced by benefics or malefics friendly planet or inimical planet and only after proper analysis you will make a conclusion and will make a prediction right provided the fact that you watch all of my videos make notes read them over and over again you will be able to make successful predictions within minutes and these predictions will be true also but for that you will have to read watch all of my videos make notes and understand what i am saying after applying it on horoscopes you can apply it on your horoscopes or others and once you develop understanding which just needs one singular application you will be able to do very good predictions all the best for that thank you for watching